888-535-5535 or reach us on the web at allenstreeservice.com. Voice of the Cardinals, News Radio 1120, KMOX, KMOX HD, St. Louis, 102.5 KEZK, HD3, St. Louis. CBS News. I'm Jim Shenevy. Will the Republican-led Senate consider an Obama choice for the Supreme Court? That's the big question with Republicans calling on the president to allow the next president to nominate a replacement for the late Antonin Scalia. And the president has been vowing he'll make his own choice in due time. Correspondent Margaret Brennan. The president will need at least 14 Republican senators to move the process forward. To help win some Republican backing, Mr. Obama could choose a candidate who has already won Senate approval. Some names that fit that bill, 63-year-old Merrick Garland, the chief judge on the D.C. Circuit Court. 48-year-old Sri Srinivasan also sits on that court. He'd be the first Indian American justice. And 51-year-old former public defender Jane Kelly, a Harvard Law classmate of the president. The death of Scalia has thrust the Supreme Court into election year campaigning with Donald Trump a new target. In a new ad, Ted Cruz alleges the frontrunner would appoint liberal justices. We cannot trust Donald Trump. Calling the accusation a lie, Trump has demanded an apology and he makes this threat. We will bring a lawsuit if he doesn't straighten his act out. He's a lying guy. After floating the idea for weeks, Trump sounds increasingly serious about challenging the Canadian-born Cruz's ability to run for president. Let's see what happens. I don't know. I think it's a good lawsuit. In response, Cruz says Trump has lost it. Stephen Portnoy, CBS News, Charleston, South Carolina. Weeks after North Korea's rocket launch and that nuclear test, and so far no new sanctions against Pyongyang. There have been plenty of talk and more of the same today. Reporter Don Kirk. South Korean President Park Geun-hye vowed to make North Korea's leader Kim Jong-un realize his nuclear program would speed up the collapse.